Good morning. I'm Franco Potterband with Eurotech, and we are here in the IoT uh, booth as a partner from VMware. We are showing a couple of demos from Eurotech. Uh, here we have one. Uh, this is a typical example of an industry 4.0 uh, uh, setback. Here we have a, a typical demo for industry 4.0. We have a Eurotech gateway. We have a PLC that actually connects to what normally is in the industry uh, several devices, motors, uh, manufacturing uh, devices in the plant, and it's connected uh, to the gateway with a serial Modbus uh, protocol. So what Eurotech provides here, it's not only the gateway, but also the software that is installed inside the gateway. It's called uh, Everywhere Software Framework. Uh, it has uh, several features. Um, data management, the device management. But the most important thing, it has a software stack uh, for developing on uh, uh, the edge. Uh, one of the typical requests that we have from the client is um, they don't really want to be a development expert at the edge. So what we have in the latest, uh, latest version, and you see there in uh, the monitor, it's a development environment, which is actually a data flow development environment, which without writing any code, you can actually develop an entire uh, system to gather the data, uh, define the channels of uh, the systems that you want to uh, uh, collect the data and control, and uh, publish it either to the cloud or um, log it, the data into a logger or uh, keep it in a data store. This is all done uh, by drag and dropping uh, those uh, components that you see there in uh, the wireframe. Um, and you can specify and configure the entire system uh, without writing any a single line of code. Uh, in here, we have a different, completely different system. Uh, this is a Bolt Core uh, 3017. Um, it's a ruggedized uh, system, uh, certified for transportation and for uh, rolling stock. Um, the important thing in here, that's why we are uh, partnering with uh, VMware, is that uh, we want to have um, virtualization on this system. Here we have uh, the Ball Core 3017, which is a more powerful system. And uh, what we are uh, achieving here with the um, partnership with VMware is uh, the virtualization at the edge. So uh, clients are normally asking, uh, can I have different applications, more powerful applications uh, running at the edge? Uh, this is a rugged eye system certified for rolling stock. And uh, it has ESXi uh, running on this machine. And uh, so uh, an application can run on different operating system as well. Uh, one of the applications that are actually running uh, in the ball core 3017 is uh, the Kiabak and Peta um, uh, smart building management system, which is uh, the system here uh, in the next uh, section. So, thank you so much. Welcome to the buildings of the future. That's exactly what we are doing within our pilot. Um, we are showing you um, how future buildings are being more efficient, being more um, reliant uh, and uh, being more secure. We have here installed on our automation uh, technology um, um, the uh, Lyota client where we take information from the sensors um, to the cloud and we visualize it um, in the pulse environment and um, you could see it on the display here and uh, we, we display here how a future building will work and um, this all together we are feeding it uh, to our management infrastructure which is there on place um, where we show to the to the building owner or the facility manager how his plant is running and um, how the energy uh, consumption in the building is at uh, a specific time. We are doing this in different styles and um, the building owner could even decide to have his plant um, view in a 3D um, style. This is very relevant because um, out of the um, out of the statistics uh, we create, we need to create for our customers a, f a, a, a view because our customers want to have a, a, a view of, of their plant. 
And uh, besides um, the sensors and why are we doing this? Uh, because we discovered that in buildings more and more sensors, more and more valves um, are being um, integrated, are going to be intelligent and we need to bring all this information up into a management system to create um, new services uh, in order to create smart and efficient buildings, the buildings of the future.